My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, her name is Phoebe, and this is The Weekly Dumb. Pre-recording this week, because Zach's in Disneyland again. Zach, hope you're enjoying Disneyland again. Three times one year, you dog. James, we have been busy. Baseball's been busy. Go listen to Talking Baseball. Who predicted that trade? Be me, me. How are you doing? Phoebe did. Phoebe's a little... She needs to tone it down. She's been told that at school. She idolizes Aunt Jan, and everyone knows it's not good for her. In sports today, we're talking the inaugural tree-hugging championships held in Scotland. Is this man seen here who looks like a mix of you and, and Jack Black and a guy who hugs logs for a lifestyle? I mean, what an event. They expected 10 people, Jim, mm-hmm. and they got 25 competitors and 25 spectators, too. Yes. That means some people walked by and were like, what are you guys doing? And they're like, oh, we're hugging trees. You want to watch for a little Counts. bit? And they're like... Okay, and they're like, spectator? Each car that drove by. Yes. Which event do you think you would be the best at? The yes. speed hugging, the dedication, or the freestyle? Obviously, it's the freestyle. You'd like to think the freestyle. I'd be open to the tree hugging. I'd like to think I'd give a little more contact than your average bear. Ooh. But do you have to fully wrap? If it's just like a quick hug, I've got that. If I have to fully hug the tree, I don't like that. I have you being good at all three. Thank you. Al- Alistair Firth. Oh, we can't say that. Okay, let's write that name. Alistair Firth. One, two, three, one. Nine point one. Wow. It's the furthest we've ever been off on a name. Well, he's Scottish. You have to remember that. Right. So it's pronounced Alistair Firth. We'll bleep that out, too. Bleep all of that out. Jim. Can we go to this almost a breakdown? Whoa, we got two options. Well, the one option that we have to include, because we have a dolphin lover in the company, is that a a topless woman tried to ride a lost dolphin. This dolphin was trying to get back to shore. A bunch of the sober people on the beach helped redirect it. The ocean's that way, dying dolphin. And then this drunk topless lady tried to ride it, and they all ran out, and they were like, no, no, you're killing that dolphin. So I hope we can't Photoshop anyone in that picture. That would be tough. The, the the real the real almost a breakdown is this German man who used his hands to smash 148 coconuts in one minute. Now he was going just one hand. Right. Oh, that's too hard. That's too hard. And then it's gonna hurt your hand. That was too hard. I didn't even feel it. He also opens up with such a good look. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> If we do a new weekly dumb intro, that's the style it's being modeled after. Now, I also hold a record for going down the line and completing a task, and it's most Smarties eaten. U.S. Smarties, no one else. Most else's. U.S. Smarties Yeah, it's 73 eaten. With, chopsticks with chopsticks in one minute. Okay, you're good. Let's go back to the sports, dog. James, the more sports today. Quarterback who eats banana with its peel. On <laughs> reveals he also drinks coffee with mayonnaise. Oh, isn't that so weird? I'm zany. No, man, I, I don't His get it. His name is Levis? Will Levis. Is that a joke? Will leave us. That's what she's always saying about Poppy. But he's actually like a fantastic father. She's a kid? Yeah, this QB kind of stinks. If you actually drank coffee with mayonnaise, you wouldn't tell people. If it came out, that'd be kind of cool. But the fact he's like... Posting it on his social media. Yeah, look what I do. All right, so we're out on this quarterback. Sorry. Let me see your eyes. Let me see your eyes. So ugly. (laughs) I'm just doing an ad read. Put them back on, please. (laughs) So hot. Nice shady rays. That's messed up <laughs> that's just the ad read man that's what they told me to say bend and blaze high yoga classes are all the buzz these days have you seen have you seen this one no bend and blaze high yoga classes are all the buzz these days i don't believe it i think there's this is the same as a tree hugging. like 25 people showed up that was too far <laughs> that ad read was too far <laughs> I just reading the script. They didn't have that in there. I don't. Uh, ask, Run the script. Ask callers to take glasses off. That's, Call him ugly. I mean, that's low. <laughs> it's that's nothing low. personal, man. That's low, man. All right, the police are getting swan handling lessons. So when I have to go get a swan and uh, glue, they uh, can handle them. Swans are super feisty, so that is tough. Let's see. We've got a quote from Dean the Chef. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be Dean in the last name, but it was Dean the chef. You don't know. It could be. His opening quote is, I'm a fisherman. 
<laughs> and I've been around swans, and I know how protective their mother birds are. In other bird news, a man crashed into a shop, ran off, and then was attacked by an emu. I did a whole report on the emu wars in Australia. They had uh, the, like the Gatling gun or whatever, machine gun from World War II, and they practiced on the emus, and they would find some still alive with like five bullets in them. Emus are tough. So they found out the guns didn't really work. So what they did is they drove in a pickup truck and like Forrest Gump chased them down and then bopped them on the back of the head to kill Sorry, them. Sorry, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> it's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. That's off. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas. You like that? Who's the employee of the week? It says here, does <laughs> Got me. That's what it says. There's no duck, right? I uh, feel bad. I was racking my brain. Coach ball game's dad. Right. Love, love to dig. dig. My dad's name is Doug, and he, he loved to dig. He uh... Has Dan Dan the tech man won it? Because we can do like floorball, and he built a mini golf course. Yeah, he has won it. What about his friend? I like the idea of Dan Dan the tech man asking his friend for a picture of him so we can put it on and play the week. Mike. You've never met him. Congrats to Mike. No. Congrats to Mike, employee of the week. I don't know this person. It looks like he could be Wayne's World. Oh, that's right. And 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 Dan Dan Techman asked him if he would help him build a custom mini golf course in the warehouse, and he said, "Dude, that's been my yeah. dream." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cover yourself up. That was a weekly dumb. This episode of Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Shady Rays. Did you see how good Jake and I looked? See how bad he looked when he took them off? I'm just reading the ad copy. Go to ShadyRays.com. Use code DUMB for 50% off two plus pairs of premium polarized shades. Every pair is backed by the loss and broken guarantee. They'll replace them if you lose or break them. ShadyRays.com. Code DUMB. 50% off two plus pairs of premium polarized shades. You th- how many coconuts do you think you can smash? So I don't know. That's what I need to know. This guy's not ripped up. <laughs> if no. if that, that no. doesn't smash no. it, because what would smash a coconut? Well, well, what happened there was you came up real quick. You need a pound down. Like You went like this and kind of like you did like a pop-up slide. I hit it a little hard. You did like a no. pop-up slide it and it needs to be like a with force You think down. that breaks a coconut? Well, not that one, but it's more like that. How much would it take to break a coconut? This This right here. That breaks a coconut. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That doesn't hurt your hand? No. That's hurting my hand watching. Why? I don't know. Maybe I got fragile hands. But do another one. Try to break a coconut. That might... I think what's happening there is you're mishitting it a little bit, squeaking out of the side. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> yeah. You don't know that. I think you're you not were. him. You're not I him. I think you mishit that one a little bit. That's all I'm saying. I don't post anything to social media. That's weird. You know what I did? I, uh, I, I peeled half a banana, so it's like a boat, you know? Yeah. And then I took peanut butter and I spread it on the top half of the boat. It's so like the bottom of the banana is peeled. So it sat on the table. The bottom still had the peel on the top didn't. And I spread peanut butter all over the top. And then I froze that for about 30 minutes. And then I took it out and I drizzled some chocolate on it. And then I just ate it with a fork. So it's just like a recipe in the middle. It's so good. Sprinkle some nuts on there. 